My name is Yanni. And my name is Ika. And we come from Ette Plants Additive Manufacturing and Optimization Team. And we are here to talk to you about design for additive manufacturing. As all of you probably know, when designing for any manufacturing method, you really want to design for that specific method only, because that's the way you get the full benefits out of it. And additive manufacturing is no different. Take for example this case we have over here today. Uh, it is actually a rotating piece uh, for a Geneva drive. So basically you have a hydraulic motor attached to one end and the whole, co whole component is uh, attached to a wall with a bearing, allowing it to rotate. Now if this would have been uh, straight out printed uh, with metal machine, there would have been no benefits of using additive manufacturing at all. But Knowing the benefits of AM, uh, this component is very suitable for additive manufacturing. Because in this case, we want to reduce volume and the mass of the component as much as possible. And also, because this uh, product's annual production volume is not enough for mass production technologies such as investment casting. Now, usually, if you think about the designing of such a case, usually we need a team. And in such a team, you need to have a, some sort of a product expert, also AM design and technology expert, technical analysis and simulation expertise, as well as material knowledge. So, how to combine all these skills to create amazing design itself? Let's have a look at the design process. With sufficient data, we first create a design space. From topology optimization software, we see that amount of needed material is relatively low. Next, we use results from optimization to create an AM component. Build orientation needs to be considered in this phase and guides the shape of the component. When the design is almost done, a row print process simulation and FEA analysis loop is carried out to finalize the design. However, no design is good enough on its own. Somehow we need to transfer all the information created in the design process to manufacturing and the machine operator. And actually, already in the design phase, we need to think further than the print process itself. What happens after we print the component? For example, in this piece over here, we have the surface that has bearing on it and that needs to be machined to have good quality. Also, we need to be able to remove all this support material here after printing easily. And because of this, we have uh, created here, for instance, three attachment points for machining. So that uh, with one single cutting movement, we can redo, uh, remove all the support areas and also finalize the surface for the bearing itself. Also, we have added uh, structures and features so that it's easier uh, for powder removal. And in addition, there can be also the company item goods added to the component itself. If you look at the costs of this component made with AM, it is actually a bit less uh, than the original one that was machined. Also, the weight has been dropped by a bit over 80%. And the flexibility of additive manufacturing gives you the ability to order only batches of one if needed. So, as you can see, in additive manufacturing, the added value comes from the design.